Want to have the spookiest cool? jog in your neighborhood? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're kicking off our Haunt and Family Halloween with Tanya Mimi Spooky Halloween. Check it out. Look at that. Look at that. That is fantastic. fantastic. Isn't it cool? I yeah, love him. Wonderful. I'm going to put a person in there and go, <laughs> I know, a really tiny person. You probably yeah. could fit someone. <laughs> I love that. Okay. <laughs> so it looks a little complicated to make. Yeah. But it's really not. It's really not that complicated. It's quite yeah. easy. So I want to show you how I did tree. it. This is okay. How, now, over here on this uh, tree, half done, how did we get to this particular point? With, this one. With, with, with this one, one here. Okay, uh -huh. well, let me show you how we did it earlier okay. today, and you'll see right. just how easy it is. Okay. All right. Roll that tape. Start with an eight foot concrete tube, about 14 inches in diameter. Take a Sharpie and draw a spooky face and a jagged top for the tree's head. Have fun with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Using a drill to put a starter hole in the tube, cut the face and top with a jigsaw. Don't forget to wear goggles. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. The less perfect, the stupider. To reinforce the tube while creating a spot to attach the base and the arms, take a 1x3 and run a bead of Gorilla Glue along the length of the 1x3 and slide it into the tube, pressing it flush to the inside of the tree. Secure the 1x3 with wood screws, spacing them about a foot or so. Repeat the second 1x3 on the opposite side of the tube. Next, I love this part, we add the bark to the tree. Roll out the butcher paper about a foot longer than the length of the tree. Crumple it up into a tight little ball. Make it super wrinkly and twisted. Don't forget to put on your mask and rubber gloves and spray the adhesive on the section you're covering. Stick and unravel the paper along the tube until you have your desired look. Cover the entire tube, including the holes you've created for the face. Then rip into the holes for the mouth and the eyes. Trace the base of the tree onto the three foot diameter plywood round that will be our base. Run a bead of Gorilla Glue along the trace line. Place your trunk on the Gorilla Glue and then screw the tree to the base with a five inch L shaped brackets. I didn't hear it. <laughs> All right, now look, we have this here. I would be concerned this thing is gonna fall over. That's How do we? Yeah. Right. Especially on an uneven surface for yes. a lawn. Sure so that. use some lawn stakes. So you want to drill a hole, okay, into the base, into and then you do literally just hammer it in. Oh. Very perfect. easy. And put maybe three around or four, or however you need to make sure it's secure. Chippy. Okay. Yeah. How do we uh, miracle girl? How do we get the branches yeah. to take off and grow? Well, All right. <laughs> okay, well let me show you exactly uh, how I did that. Okay. <laughs> so place two more five inch L shaped brackets where the ribs would be, the ribs of the tree. Right in there, I'm just using some wood screws to get them in. Next, you're gonna paint the mouth and the eyes with black exterior spray paint and really get in there. That looks fantastic. Then, use gray exterior latex paint and brush the paint right into the creases. You really wanna get in there. A thick coat of paint is best and it'll help weatherproof the tree while creating the texture of bark. And there you go. Okay. Now, how, now, how do we pick? Now, first of all, how do we pick good branches? This is a good branch. That's a good Jan. branch. How do we find? Well, those? really, if you can't pick it up, it's going to be way too heavy for your tree monster. So as long as you can pick it up, it's a good branch. Okay. And then we attach how? Yes. Okay. So see the very end where your hand is there, Mark. This you want to make yep. sure that okay. this is a flat end because it's going to go right up against the ribs of your tree. So okay. if you can help me put that on, and sure. then you just take some wood screws and a drill. Okay. And you literally just drill it on, and I can help oh, you do that. I'll hold it in place for you. Well, let me see if we, I think I can do it this way, right? Can I help? What? You can! I do not, I'll just stand here and watch. Oh, look how easy that is. It's, it's, it's super easy and it's, it's fun. super easy, super. wow. You could even just go with one, but we'll, we'll make oh, it really no, secure. Oh no, not when there's, no, not when there's a <laughs> drill involved. I'm gonna go this way. You know what, Christine, you can help me with the finishing touches. That'll be fine. Okay. Oh, you get to do finishing touches. I love finishing okay. touches. I got it, Tanya. Okay, good, okay. perfect. Look at that. Look at there, huh? That looks awesome. Now what I would do in this case is paint it first and then put on your finishing touches. Okay, so we can use some moss. We you have paint it, leaves. what, the same color as the, uh, the bark? I would. Yep. I would paint it the same uh -huh. color, just okay. like the tree over there. All right. Okay, and then we have some moss, some leaves. You can use stones. You can use whatever you want to use in your front lawn. Have fun. Make it interesting. So here you go. You can have fun with just some spray-on glue. Put it wherever you want, Christina. And then, uh, Mark, we can attach the leaves with a glue gun. With a glue gun. gun. 
What about, I'm looking at this going, how do Perfect. you store something like this? You know, when you when it comes time, Halloween's over, you want to keep this? Okay, well Any that's... tips it, or thoughts on that? Well, I would definitely store it inside, so a garage is best. Okay. And I would always put a tarp over it to protect it. And if you live in kind of an environment where it's sort of moist, uh -huh. um, winter environments, things like that, then you might want to spray paint it or put a, a, like a nice lacquer waterproof finish Just on a, it. Something uh -huh. that is waterproof that can protect it, tarp over it. You're gonna go. I don't I want to glue you your know, hair. Yeah, I know. I, you know, I do. I have wood glue in my hair from yesterday. I just thought of something too. What'd be look really nice in here is if you wanted to put a light at the bottom, it would give a little glow in here too. You know, I was thinking that I wouldn't suggest candles, obviously, because obviously. it yeah. is cardboard. But I, I mean, maybe one of those yeah. battery-operated lights or those candles put a whole lights. bunch of in the bottom. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I don't. Oh my gosh, this is yeah. yeah. fun, you guys. Isn't Perfect. it cute? Look at it. it's already looking great. All right. Well, look. This means it's time to leave. So we have to go. <laughs> but instructions I'm, for how to make your own spooky Halloween. Oh. Tree, visit our Pinterest Burn page, myself. and Tanya's left some instructions there for you. I or have. you can uh, follow her fun at uh, TanyaMemme.com. Coming up, we are going to show you how to create the perfect eyebrow without plucking or waxing. It's magic, I think.